2011-2012 legislative session began in Harrisburg with 29 new members taking an oath to support, obey, and defend the federal and state constitutions. Let's spend five minutes with one of those new members, State Representative Mark Gillen of the 128th Legislative District in Berks County. Representative Gillen, welcome. Good afternoon. Good to see you here. You've already been through one of the first official duties, or the first official duty as a state representative, and that is to get sworn into office. Tell us what swearing-in day was like for you. It was an exciting day for the entire family. Uh, I have to be honest as I reflect on this experience that I looked at it very much through the lens of my children, my wife, my friends, my supporters, and my 85-year-old mother who came up uh, from South Philadelphia to participate in this. It was moving from the respect that uh, my grandparents were immigrants to this country from Ireland, uh, Italy, and Hungary. And it was unfathomable that here we are, you know, a few generations departed, uh, that one of their own could be a state representative in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, their ocean journeys and their nesting into the United States, I don't think contemplated uh, one of their grandchildren uh, being elected to the State House of Pennsylvania. You've talked a little bit about your personal background and your family members. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your experiences you've had both in, uh, in life but also in, in former uh, jobs that uh, you're carrying with you into this uh, new job. I was just at a luncheon and uh, one of the gals asked me what my background was and I think she was fully anticipating that it would be political science major, an aspirant to public office for a long period of time and the things that I shared with her I think actually surprised her and I was saying them matter of factly for uh, over 20 years I've been an emergency uh, medical technician, I'm an Act 48 certified educator. I have uh, been in the classroom not on a full-time basis but as a guest teacher and I've also spent time in the mission field and probably most of the last five or six years I uh, have not been in the country. And maybe the approach that I take to governance and to public service is a little bit different. Um, I don't see public service as winning an office or having a name tag or sitting here in a legislative body uh, in Harrisburg, I see it a disposition of the heart. And it doesn't matter where you are at on life's highway professionally. Uh, I think if you bring your heart uh, to the table and you are willing to give and you're willing to donate and you're willing to sacrifice, I think you, you are a public servant. And though I bring specific pedigree in terms of professional, uh, skills. I hope that I bring a temperament. Uh, I didn't stay in a hotel uh, here. I drove through the icy weather uh, to get where we're uh, at today. I drove my own car and uh, I think if we're going to give back to the Commonwealth as a legislature, uh, it has to be fleshed out and demonstrated uh, in our own personal lives. And I, I, I didn't mention much about the pedigree of a a dad, I've got four daughters, an 11, an 8, a 6, and a 2-year-old, uh, and as a husband. And I think our own home is a springboard to that public service. And as we leave home to come here, I like to think that I carry the values of home and the small town community that I live in in Berks County to Harrisburg. So a lot of experience serving people in a variety of capacities before you even made it here to Harrisburg. What? What are your legislative priorities? We know that you want to serve people, but what particular legislative priorities do you have? I think it's a good question, and if you don't mind, I'll reframe it, uh, reframe it slightly. Go ahead. Um, the legislative priorities uh, that I'm going to be involved with are the priorities of the people and the community, and a common thread with jobs, the economy, property tax, elimination, as I talk to township municipal supervisors, they're concerned about the regulatory environment. As I knocked on doors, uh, visiting with prospective constituents, uh, they were very concerned uh, about the business climate. They are the job creators. They are the entrepreneurs. They are the business people. They are the risk takers who sign paychecks week in and week out. 
And uh, we want to create a climate in the Commonwealth where jobs and the economy can flourish, that we can keep the best and brightest. As I talk to those that have recently graduated from college and couldn't find employment opportunities in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I think if we get anything right is that there are families out there struggling a great deal uh, that are concerned about the next paycheck and the next mortgage payment and the next utility bill. And I'm one of those people. Um, I live in a semi-detached home right on the main street in town there. And um, constituents, they talk to me over the fence. I was raking leaves uh, not too many weeks back. And there was a pretty good pile of them after uh, being involved out there on the campaign trail. And I spent about two hours in the backyard. And I talked to four different individuals who leaned over the fence. And uh, they shared some of those same concerns that uh, I just addressed with you a moment you, ago. You mentioned talking to constituents very briefly because we're, we're out of time now. But uh, how do you plan on talking to your constituents R real briefly, keeping in contact with them? Because that is so important as a representative. My door is open, and I think you've heard that rhetoric uh, probably uh, before, but it's a reality. People come knocking on our front door. They call us at home. They reach over the fence. Uh, with a handshake and a number of people at a gas station. I will be knocking on doors, will be communicating uh, directly in terms of my own accessibility. And in the panorama of uh, contacting constituents, I'm going to do what I've always done with my family and take an interest in our own community and volunteering and participating in civic events. Very good. Representative Gillen of the 128th District, I know you'll be keeping in contact with your constituents, and I wish, uh, wish you well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you have comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative Gillen's contact information will be on the screen in a few seconds. I'm Herb Logan. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Mark Gillen.